Good Monday morning, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're getting your week off to a good start. We know Mondays are never easy. We've got our coffee. We've got our patience. And there you go. We're good to go. A couple of the stories that we're covering for you this morning. First of all, if you caught the news last night, uh, there was a breaking news story about a bomb scare at the 911 dispatch center, the DPS dispatch center to be more specific, and uh, they had to shut the place down. They had to transfer all calls to other dispatch centers while they... they swept through the whole place to make sure there wasn't a bomb inside here. Uh, we're following that this morning. We've got the outcome of that. The good news is that the dispatch center is back open. We'll tell you exactly what happened with that. Also, Gabe Zimmerman, uh, you may remember that name. He, he is, of course, the, the aide to Representative Gabriel Giffords that was shot and killed during that shooting in Tucson. And this morning, his fiance is speaking out on Good Morning America. We're going to have a snippet of that on Daybreak as a preview before Good Morning America starts at 7 o'clock and uh, find out why she's speaking out, why she's decided today to come out and talk. It's very specific. She's got a reason for this, and we're going to have that for you. Also, you've heard of the Valley Fever, um, but what you may not know is that one out of every three cases of Valley Fever is actually misdiagnosed. Does that surprise you? You'd think that doctors here would be fairly familiar with it, that they'd be used to diagnosing that, but apparently uh, one out of every three is misdiagnosed, and uh, it could be a problem. So uh, we'll tell you how bad it is elsewhere, too, because you know here in the Valley, again, doctors are familiar with it. Imagine places where they're not familiar with it, how bad it is there. Uh, so we'll have that. Also, if you missed the Super Bowl last night, if you didn't catch all the Super Bowl commercials, we're going to be breaking those down for you. Uh, they're being ranked online as we speak. We're going to have the ones that are ranked the worst, the ones that are ranked the best, and we'll break it down with an ad executive to kind of tell you, you know, what, what, what comes out of these commercials. A lot of money spent on those commercials last night. Does it really matter? Does it really impact a company now that we're in 2011? We'll have all that on Daybreak. We're on from 5 until 7. We hope to see you there. And don't forget, ABC15.com is your source for news throughout the day.